Welcome, everybody. This is Buck Joffrey with the Wealth Formula Podcast coming to you for our special Friday show, which is basically turned into a self-help show, but that's okay. It sounds uh, sounds very reasonable to me. It's something that uh, I think everybody needs a little bit of, including me. I tell you, it seems like this week I'm very thankful. I have a lot of gratitude, and that's what I want to talk about because, as you may know, I recently experienced this uh, uh, kind of a setback. I had a retinal tear and detachment uh, about a week ago. You know, I had this sudden sort of shadow in my eye and I had to, uh, I went to the ophthalmologist and got this emergency surgery to repair it. And, you know, the thing is, as it turned out, had I not gotten it repaired, I could have lost my vision that eye. Now, was I afraid? Not really. I guess probably because I knew that we caught it in time as soon as we found out um, and I had some really good surgeons there. And maybe I have a little bit too much faith in surgeons since I used to be one. And um, so maybe I wasn't super scared about it. But, you know, in hindsight, it was something uh, that was potentially very dangerous. And so I feel very, very fortunate to not have had something else uh, go wrong and have lost my vision. Now, I mentioned this actually on the show on Wednesday with Zulfi, and quite a number of you actually emailed me and expressed your sympathy and felt bad for me. And I thank you for that. That was very nice of you. But the truth is, you know, I actually feel incredibly fortunate. I feel like we caught it on time. Surgery was something that we could do right away, a couple hours after we discovered it. And then today, uh, even though I'm a little blurry because I got a bubble in the back of my eye, you can tell I got my vision. So that's all good. And what this experience has really done for me is reinforce something that I've always believed. It's all about perspective, right? We can't always control what happens to us, but we can control how we respond to it. You know, in this situation, I could have easily focused on the why me of the situation uh, about having bad luck, you know, who gets a retinal tear just randomly? Well, some people do. The percentage is very low at my age and that kind of thing. But um, I could have I could have thought about this. In fact, a few people brought up the fact that I... You know, I've had some, a few of these sort of situations with my back and my eyes, and then I had COVID not long ago. What's going on with you, dude? And um, you know what I said is, you know, <laughs> I've had my ups too. I mean, I've had my share of very, very, uh, very, uh, very good luck as well. So I'm going to take the good with the bad. You know, at the end of the day, gratitude is important. It becomes my anchor during times like this because I realize how much I really have to be thankful for and this isn't just about my eye. It's about how we approach life in general. And I think that's important in uh, for all of us. Gratitude isn't just a, a reaction to the things that happen. It, it's a pro- proactive choice to see the good, even in difficult circumstances. It's about recognizing that life is a mix of ups and downs and finding something to be thankful for in every situation. And, and most of us have a lot more good going on than bad. So it's... <laughs> You know, you look around the world and you see people in these war-torn countries or famines and people not having enough to eat. And you got to think, well, gosh, uh, as far as things go, I'm pretty lucky, right? Gratitude is uh, more than just a feel-good emotion, too. It's a powerful tool and and it helps to shape our mental and emotional well-being. And it makes me think about some stuff I've read, I mean, research as it relates to what's called positive psychology. Positive psychology is basically the idea of, you know, it's this kind of psychology methodology that, you know, most of the time we think of psychology as just helping people who are uh, having trouble, whether that's, you know, depression or whatever the case may be. Uh, Positive psychology is not for people who necessarily feel um, down. It's for people who want to feel up. And positive psychology uh, has shown that the practice of gratitude can actually lead to a whole bunch of other benefits, including uh, improved mental health, stronger relationships, and really a greater overall uh, life satisfaction. So just a few thoughts uh, on, you know, the psychological benefits, the psychological benefits of gratitude. One, you can improve mental health. Gratitude has been shown to reduce toxic emotions like envy and resentment and frustration and regret. And by focusing on what we have rather than what we lack, uh, we can shift our mindset from one of scarcity to one of abundance. It also creates enhanced resilience. Gratitude helps us to recover from adversity by acknowledging the positives in our lives. Even during tough times, we build emotional resilience and that makes us equipped to handle 
future challenges with grace and strength. Um, gratitude also helps with relationships, as you can imagine. When we express gratitude towards others, it strengthens our connections. People are drawn to positivity and appreciation, which helps to deepen our relationships and build a stronger support network. And the reality is, if you think about it, I've had other times in my life where I have been sort of mopey, and it's not fun to be around a mopey person. And I, I have a friend who I hang out with, and he actually is very clear. He tells me all the time, he's like, you know what? You weren't really not fun to hang out with. And I'm like, thanks, dude. But anyway, that's that's a reality, though, is that if you're if you get into these negative situations, it's it's not good for relationships either. And it's not good for you. So trying to like look at the positive side of things, uh, I think, is is really, really critically important. Finally, I mean, there's plenty of of actual data that regularly practicing gratitude can boost your happiness levels overall and happiness levels have all sorts of benefits obviously what other benefit do you want other than being happy but as it turns out uh, happier people tend to live longer as well but i will tell you i think it is somewhat difficult to you know practice gratitude um, without actually making it a formal practice and i've done this at various points in my life and i can't say that I do it all the time, but it might be worth looking into if you're trying to potentially kind of change your own attitude and just feel 10% happier, you know? Some of the thoughts behind, you know, practicing gratitude that you might want to try, gratitude journaling, right? So spend a few minutes each day writing down three things that you're grateful for, and they can be big or small. What matters is that you take the time to acknowledge them mindful appreciation so take a moment during your day to appreciate something you might usually overlook the warmth of the sun the taste of you know your morning coffee or the sound of laughter and for me this one is a lot of times you know just spending an extra few moments just thinking about my kids and looking at them and thinking well gosh this is a fleeting moment i have pictures of them and their babies they're not babies anymore and this moment's going to be gone too and you just got to appreciate it, right? And expressing thanks. You know, make it a habit to thank people in your life, not just uh, for big gestures, but the little things too. You know, a little thank you can go a long way in fostering positive connections. And um, finally, reframing challenges. So when you're faced with a difficult situation, try to find at least one positive aspect. It could be a lesson learned, a new perspective gained, or simply the strength you've discovered within yourself. I think there is a lot to be said and this one too. And this is about some of the strongest people and the most successful people I know. This is what they're really good at. They're at really good at reframing challenges and not letting things defeat them. Anyway, that's all I have for this Friday. Uh, I am very grateful that you are my audience, that you're listening to me and hopefully you're getting something out of this as well. This is Buck Joffrey. See you next week.